They typically have a longer length of stay in shelters. Some places view them as not as highly adoptable. Just like any other breed, all dogs are individuals, and so we treat them as such. You're going to get a whole range of temperament from every breed. So we really don't judge them as much by the breed as just by who they are as a dog individually. The City Dogs program was developed not only to find loving homes for the dogs in our care, but to kind of break some of the stereotypes that people may have about Pitbull and Pitbull mixes. There are 30,000 housing units in Lakewood, and we have a whole lot of folks living in a small amount of space, almost 10,000 people per square mile. That's a very distinct characteristic compared to most other communities. This particular type of dog, when it does attack, it becomes a very, very dangerous attack. We've had two humans uh, viciously attacked by these dogs, lucky to be alive in both cases, and that's in the last two years. What is our tolerance for these types of attacks? How many are okay? What the city has done is they've created a false sense of safety by saying, hey, we're, we're banning this dog that you see on the news that supposedly bites. To make a city safe, you need to focus on strong breed neutral ordinances, strong enforcement, and, and again, communication. Dangerous is not the way a dog looks. You're so smiley today. He has just fit into this family like he's always been here. He's a very chill, relaxed dog. We rescued him last February from the Cleveland APL. Because Lakewood has breed-specific legislation, you have to submit a picture of the dog that you would like to rescue and send it off to the Lakewood Animal Warden to seek approval. So we did do that and we were given approval. So imagine my shock four months later when my yes turned into, you can't have that dog in Lakewood. But you said I could have this dog in Lakewood. So a lot of gray area there, I think. It's subjective. And for all of them that have gone before me, and for any families that I can help in the future, I'm going to do that. Charlie's going to do that. I certainly would concede it may not be fair to the dog. But on balance, we have trade-offs we have to make. And of course, I'm obligated to do everything I can to protect our citizens. That's my job. If I'm going to make a mistake here, I'm going to err on the side of being more safe.